ka shilong college ha ka hnyo trik unai lor kala yu wan pelong ya ka graduation day na ka benta ki hnyo spot lai pusan ngot ki samla ki bala pendap ya ki degree jong ka nika college uba given mi gwal milim mla jong ka so ra constituency ula long kum ukong san bat uba maria hom khar krang unong ek tien jong ka bjp ula long kum usimbut kong san Uba given Miguel Milliam ha ka jingkran ulaya ro ya ka college but ay kubla ya baro kisam la puli ki bala trishi tam ha ki jing puli ki jongki. Graduation is not the end of this tough battle but in fact is the beginning of a beautiful one. We see it in life. We can't deny the fact that life is a journey. It won't always be easy going. There will always be ups and downs. We will always have to face challenges and also encounter various challenges in life. But what is most important is to have faith in God and ask for His wisdom and guidance that He may lead the path. Yes, as rightly being said by our dear principal. Many, many years have gone since the inception of this college. We can't move forward without recalling the contributions of all the past and present principals, the members of the governing body, the teaching and non-teaching staff, and all the people who have been involved in making this institution what it is. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate you as Shillong College for the achievement of an A plus grade in this last assessment by NAC. And this clearly indicates the hard work, the dedication, the effort of the entire Shillong College team. Therefore, I would like to take this opportunity you wish you as a college all the very best for your future endeavors. Now coming to this graduation day ceremony, I still recall 12 years back when I graduated from St. Anthony's College. We didn't have a ceremony like this. And today, wearing this gown, I feel like I graduated from Shillong College. So therefore, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate each and every student who has graduated today. In fact, you are the luckiest batch to be the first batch to be conferred with this graduation ceremony. And at the same time, I would also like to give my special appreciation to all the rank holders of this prestigious institution. I am very confident that this will really be a memorable day in your entire life. Yes, this degree that we have obtained today I can assure you that it's not just a simple, simple piece of paper, but it is a testament to the hard work that you have put in in all these three years. And I'm very sure that when you move out of this campus today, you'll be missing the atmosphere, the wonderful atmosphere of this college. But we should also understand that life is a journey where we need to proceed on. La yu ru banyakran kerpang bat kawai ka samla puli ka balapoy ha ka top list na pedeng ki nyungut ki samla puli ha ka subject Hindi. Kani ka samla ka deka iban pentingan ka syar ka balapan pa badai lingba ka jing ayman siyam jong ukpa jong ka bat ka jing arap jong ki no hikai baka salah ban poy syakmat ha ka subject Hindi. How did I start my journey in Hindi subject is 
uh, I used to go and I study in KV Prashlong School. So uh, it's a central school, so we have to learn Hindi first because it's a school based on Hindi. Uh, so it was like easy to go on KV school because they always speak in Hindi and will teach you in Hindi language. So uh, how did I learn Hindi is from my dad because my dad used to work in a place where there were people who are outside from Sri Lanka, so they always speak Hindi. So it was that like, easy for my dad uh, to communicate with them because he didn't he didn't know how to speak Hindi. So he buy the book which uh, tell us about Hindi language. So he read that every day, every single day when he go to work or when he came back home, he will read the book and after that slowly, slowly he will learn how to speak in Hindi. And when I see my dad, I saw my dad, he was learning some Hindi words as I knew. I got very attractive to that language. So I asked my dad to teach me as well. So uh, slowly, slowly he started teaching me and slowly I started going to KB school and I got some new friends who are from uh, outside northeastern states. So I started to communicate with them and from there I I improved my speaking on Hindi language. After that I completed my graduate from school and I came here for degree in Hindi honors. I spent here three years here and the teachers are really good. They always inspire us to uh, see Hindi language as one of the best literature language. As soon as we leave in, uh, as soon as we stay in Shillong, in this India state, we should know how to speak in Hindi. So uh, I started to learn each day. I started to learn to write because it's not easy. Till now, it's not easy uh, to speak in Hindi very frequently. So I done my degree here. After that, I continue my study in MA in Mihu. The job quality, uh, opportunities are mostly for teachers because there are many schools that have made compulsory uh, for Hindi subject. So there are less people who take uh, who study about Hindi language. So as we live in this Kasi, our own state, so we really want that our own uh, citizens, our own people to learn Hindi and teach their own people. Do we often have a dislike for Hindi. Yeah. So what is the reason and how? Uh, on my basic um, understanding, or to be honest, many people think Hindi took Hindi as a religious thing. They don't take Hindi as a language. They think that if we take Hindi, we are going uh, to worship some god, and not as we don't think as Hindi is a language that we need to speak to people. That's why they dislike Hindi because they always look Hindi as a religious thing, not as a language thing. Uh, there are three uh, different uh, college in this uh, in Mikhalia that uh, where you will find a subject of Hindi Hindi honors. There are different uh, colleges as well, but in that college they only take as elective subject, not as honor subject. But in Mikhalia there are only three colleges where they uh, take Hindi as an honor subject. So I think maybe because we study really hard from our college, that's why all five uh, rank holders we have from this college. Uh, I would like to say that uh, Hindi is a subject that it's not easy to like you just said like an English subject you learn alphabet and you learn it automatically but Hindi is kind of hard to be honest but if you try to speak with different people or you try to listen to some songs or watch some movie you will try to learn you will slowly you will learn some new words so uh, I think Hindi is a beautiful language and everyone should uh, see it as a language, as a literature, not as something like we do with some religious or Hindi. Sometimes people take Hindi as a religious thing. But I would like to encourage you to look from different perspectives as English, Khasi or, Hin uh, Khasi or Hindi are a different beautiful language. So everyone should see Hindi as a language. First of all, I would like to say that the Hindi language is a very beautiful language. और ये क्या कि जो शिलोंग में मेघालय में है वो हिंदी में पढ़ने वाले बहुत कम हैं तो मैं चाहती हूँ कि आप लोग भी निकले हिंदी लैंग्वेज को मतलब सीखने का प्रयास करें और क्योंकि शिलोंग में बहुत सारे ऐसे काम हैं जो हिंदी की ज़रूरत है हमें तो ऐसे काम बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो जो हिंदी नहीं पढ़ पाते हैं तो उनकी ज़रूरत है हम लोगों को तो मैं चाहती हूँ कि आप हिंदी पढ़िए और आपको काम मिलने में भी थोड़ा आसानी होगी पावन ओंग बाई का हिंदी लैंग्वेज Kalong kaba kham sumutunat ang grand buhi and namar bangi di ang isa akong mahakasyo may kahalya shilong ting ipon di di bilang duna ba ba siya may kanika sadyak hindi kan ting ako bangan ay jika manipi lang kanang siya hindi namar ba hanyan po shilong ipon kikam kiba ngiwat na kipanta kikana kapuli hindi tapin kham sumutunat ang grand buhi ka hindi sadyak